Okay friends, now let us solve some problems in identifying the type of polynomials. So we already learned what are linear, quadratic and cubic polynomials, right? And just to kind of remind you that this is based on degree, right? Linear polynomials have degree one, right? Quadratic will have degree two and cubic will have degree three. So that is what you need to remember to be able to solve these kind of problems. Now let us look at the first one. It says x square plus x. So if you can see the degree of this polynomial, that is the max value of the uh, variable, the, ma the maximum value of the exponent of the variable is 2, right? So this is a quadratic polynomial, right? Now let us look at second example. It says x minus of x cubed. So in this case, you can see that the maximum value, the degree of this polynomial is 3 because x is raised to the power 3. So this is an example of a cubic polynomial. Okay, let us look at third example. The third example says y plus y square plus 4. In this case, the degree of this polynomial is 2 because y is raised to the power 2. This is the maximum value of the exponent in this and therefore this is a quadratic polynomial okay let us look at fourth example uh, that says 1 plus x now this is very simple you know x is just raised to the power 1 which means it has degree 1 therefore this is a linear polynomial okay let us look at the next example example number 5 uh, in this case, we have just one term, 3t. So this is straightforward. Again, it is an example of a linear polynomial because t is raised to the power 1. Next example, we have 7x cube. So because x is raised to the power 3, this polynomial has degree 3. Therefore, this is a cubic polynomial. And the last one says r square right again this is very simple because r is raised to the power 2 the degree of this polynomial is 2 hence it is a quadratic polynomial so hopefully now you should be able to identify based on the degree whether a given polynomial is linear quadratic or a cubic polynomial